G'day, I'm Shane Dowling and I want to give you a quick overview of my new book, Australia's Pedophile Protection Racket, which was published on the 28th of September 2020. Now, it's already received four book reviews, with three being five stars and one four-star review. One review says on Amazon that uh, if you enjoy the personal journey of a man against an Australian system and household names, purchase this book. Now, I'll read you what's on the back cover of the book. Now, Prime Minister Scott Morrison announced on the 3rd of September 2019 that 28% of pedophiles convicted of federal laws do not go to jail. So the government is introducing mandatory sentencing laws. Now, by June 2020, when the new laws were passed by the government, it had risen to 39%. Now, I believe the minimum inference that can be drawn from that is that uh, Australian judges and magistrates are running a pedophile protection racket. Otherwise, they'd be doing their jobs and jailing the convicted pedophiles. Two examples. Well, firstly, Judge John North gave a convicted pedophile who abused two young girls a suspended sentence due to the pedophile suffering high cholesterol, sleeping problems and having had no sex education. And then he protected his identity with a suppression order in November 2017. And secondly, convicted pedophile Robert Cricku sexually abused his five-year-old grandson and avoided jail in May 2020 after the Court of Appeal in New South Wales felt sorry for him because of his claimed health issues. And they also worried he might catch the coronavirus in jail. Now the book follows journalist Shane Dowling, which is me, who specialises in judicial and government corruption. As he cuts too close with his reporting by naming 15 judges, two registrars and one magistrate as either known pedophiles or suspected pedophiles in an email sent to all the judges of the Supreme Court of New South Wales and relevant authorities. The documented evidence shows Justice Tom Bathurst abusing his position ordering court staff to stitch Shane Dowling up for two jail sentences and uh, trying for a third now. But they still can't stop Shane Dowling exercising his right to political communication and free speech, which is a real danger to the likes of Bathurst and Co. Now in the same email, Shane Dowling also raised a $2.2 million mafia bribe to the New South Wales judge reported by the ABC and Fairfax Media in 2015, which Justice Davies confirmed was true in a discussion with Shane Dowling in the Supreme Court on the 30th of November 2015. Shane Dowling reported at the time, Justice David Davies said the bribe took place 30 or 40 years ago in a clear attempt to downplay it as old news. I responded with words to the effect, it didn't happen that long ago as one of the judges are only recently retired and there are other judges still on the bench. Justice Davies sat there like a stunned mullet and said nothing. Now you can purchase a book on websites like Amazon starting from $44 and also other websites like Booktopia, Book Depository, Angus and Robinson, Fishpond and others. Thank you for your time.